Hey friends, my name's Anya and I'm a high schooler here at Bethel. Today we'll take a look at Daniel chapter five. Here, God focuses on his final judgment and authority over all. Everyone will eventually stand before his judgment when the time comes. And as King Belshazzar learns in our passage, we must be ready. To give a quick recap of the text, King Belshazzar throws a huge feast where the rich and powerful get drunk on wine and sex while desecrating God's vessels and worshiping false idols. Ultimately, Belshazzar's party isn't honoring God in the slightest. Amidst the feast chaos, a hand appears and begins to spell out a message on the wall of the palace, much to everyone's shock and fear. Daniel is called in to interpret the literal writing on the wall, dictating the impending doom of Babylon. This communicates God's final authority, judging by his own standards and not by Babylon's expectations. In the end, Belshazzar's ignorance and lack of humility caused him a world of hurt, bringing his reign to an end. While reading this passage, I noticed that even we as Christians can fall into comfortable worldly patterns like Belshazzar did. We can idolize ourselves, our agendas, the people around us, and even the things we view as most important, like money or technology. With such easy practices that become habits for us, we can focus on the things in life that don't give glory to our Father. Similarly, Belshazzar didn't humble himself before the Lord, instead choosing to worship false gods and lifting himself up as the center of his universe. Being judged by God, Belshazzar was ruined and given consequences for his actions of rebellion and conscious blindness. When judgment day arrives, we know that we'll stand before the Lord. In Matthew 7, 23, Jesus says, On that day, many will say to me, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name and cast out demons in your name and do many mighty works in your name? And then I will declare to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you workers of lawlessness. Unable to hide behind our idols and self-elevation, the Lord will see us for who we are. However, we're incredibly blessed to serve a loving God. He wants to be in a relationship with us, intimate and personal. Throughout the Bible, he encourages us to strive for him and look toward him for direction and peace. Although all continue to sin and fall short of the glory of God, by reading our Bibles, praying, living to serve the needs of others, seeking to know the Lord individually, and so much more, we maintain a lifestyle close to our Savior. In actively building our house on the rock of the Lord, we aim to keep our eyes set on the one true King who loves us no matter what. This week, I'd encourage you to look at your own life and see if there are any areas of idolization where you might need to realign your mind with Christ.